Okay. Okay, we've been getting a little upset today. Which doesn't mean today because you guys are watching on YouTube, presumably. So, um... The last draft we did, we lost to Ravages of War twice. Both, I think both matches we lost, both, both games we lost in that match were due to Ravages of War. And... Before that, our green deck just didn't really come together, but it was fun. Guts the Wax Swordsman, thank you so much. Really appreciate it, buddy. I've been spreading the word of Chicken Sunny to all my friends. At least two of my coworkers are saying it. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. I kind of like first picking Batter Skull or Tropical Island here. I want you guys little do you, little do you know you're what you are watching on YouTube. <laughs> Um, like Batter Skull is all right, but if you don't get the Stoneforge Mystic, it's not as good. Whereas Tropical Island is just a cool dude. Doomblade's also good. I really want to be able to kill Planeswalkers though. I'm gonna go with Batter Skull. Just keeps us open. It's a good card. It's a solid boy. Exhum. We could do the. Uh, we could do the, the reanimator step. Not step, but like, uh. We could try to go reanimator, is what I'm getting at here, guys. Okay? We could also just take Journey or Thalia. Thalia is actually pretty strong, I think. I mean, we just got trounced by a Thalia. Yeah. Hey, remember me? Alright, I'll take the Thalia. It's the only white card in the pack, too, which is pretty good. It kind of puts us uh, in a good position to take the white cards. I like Jace. I like Nissa, but since Monastery Mentor is in here and the only white the only good white card we have oust as well, but I'm gonna take Monastery Mentor. Quack two thousand, what's going on, my dude? Long time no see, buddy. Where you got where you been? I'm gonna take Gideon. Reanimator? Well, never mind. If I see a consecrated Sphinx, we're definitely taking it. There's no no ifs, ands, or buts about that. We could take the Nicol Bolas here. Except that wouldn't make any sense. I'm going to take Swords to Plowshares, one of the best removal spells ever printed. We could do this job again. This is always fun. We could also take Mana Tithe and Gotham because they never play around the mana. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna get them. We're going to Mana Tithe them. We're going to tie them up. Where is Mike when you need him? When do you ever need him? <laughs> Got him. Guys, I'm tempted to go get some tacos for dinner. Do you guys... Do I have your support in doing this? Basically had a one-day weekend this past weekend, which didn't really count, so I was working on Friday till 2 a.m. Man, you should have told me I would have come hang out with you. Also, Quacker, I'm putting together a cube. When it's done, can we all get together and draft it? We should figure out how to make that happen. Why are these picks so long? <laughs> Was that churlish? <laughs> oh, man. The only thing I think of when I hear that is, uh, you guys probably know, is uh, Key and Peel. I'm going to take this Oblivion Ring. I like Lingering Souls a lot, but the problem with Lingering Souls is that we might not be black. Also, New York in the winter sounds much better than New York in the summer. I think Gideon of the Trials is probably better than Mirror Angel. It also does trigger Monastery Mentor. That's a good Chandra. Remember that time we got excited about the Planeswalker art being back and then like half of them are still gone, so it doesn't really matter. Angel's probably the pick here. Oh yeah, if you guys want to come here, that's that's game. That feels more expensive to me, but you know, whatever. Whatever it takes. Three, we're going three o bucks. Boy, I hope that's correct. That is a good. That's a nice Adventure Time gift you did there. I'm a fan. Oust maybe. Aegis for Harvester. 
I guess we'll take the Aether Harvester for the... I'm going to take this guy just because it's good. And uh, I don't have a reason to take a concealed courtyard. I have no nothing black here, so... Well, now we can take it. Now now I'll take this black-white fixing land. I actually like black-white a lot in this cube. Even that card's good for us. Look at all these mono-white cards. Yeah, the ha the Eldrazi popping into the frame in game. And it's really weird because it always is Eldrazi. It's either Emrakul, Ulamog, or like Thought Not Seer. And it's always super weird. There's a Sun Titan. Probably just taking Sun Titan here. It gets back a lot of things, including Mentor, Thalia, Gideon, Silverblade Paladin. Yeah, I'm going to take this Sun Titan. That's a great top end for us. We can rent a van and play Californication the whole way down. It'll be that would be fantastic. If you guys rented a van, oh, that's what we're looking for. I'm gonna pass this Elspeth because I think Stoneforge is actually better for us here. And we want two drops. <sighs> Elspeth's so good. She might come back. Mother of Rune's also very good. But think of all the other equipment we can get as well. I can't. I gotta do it. Oh, if we're mono red, we can spectral procession. Mono white, rather. I don't know why I said red there. I think it's just Spectral here. The only other option is Marshall Coup or Boros Reckoner, and I think Spectral's probably better. Knowing, yeah, knowing these these drafts, the Elspeth just comes back. We can take Scrubland, and then we have two black sources, which are very, very good. I'm pretty sure we're just taking Path, though. One mana removal that gets rid of, like, combo pieces is pretty good. It's a pretty decent white deck so far. I thought it was just an intentional Easter egg, but that might be given them. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that's what they'd spend their programming effort on. I feel like if everything else was perfect, it could be an unintentional Easter egg. But at this point, it's just like, well, I think it's actually Smuggler's Copter here. I'm not a big Smuggler's Copter fan, but it feels good in this deck with a bunch of one ones. It also triggers Monastery Mentor, which is not nothing, or Sword of Feast and Famine actually. Oh. Yeah, this is good. We're going to take the good sword. It's like the second best sword, I think, with the first one being Fire and Ice. Actually, it's the third, because the first is always Body and Mind. I think Body and Mind is just so far and away better than any any other swords, just because it wins you the game. The other ones do. The other ones have great value. Like this is a great value sword, but a lot of the other a lot of the other swords just uh like Body and Mind just wins you the game in two turns. Same is not true for Feast and Famine or. Uh, Ooh, fire and ice. I think I blacked out. Rafelos. Oh, that's an easy pick. Nice. JK, but really, it should it shouldn't still be in this pack. I don't think. Also, three fetch lands. Ugh, not a single white one. I'm gonna take this Windbrisk Heights. Never buy a great value sword in real. <laughs> That's the Walmart sword of swords. I'm going to take this Cloud Goat Ranger, actually. We're just going to go so wide, and we're going to hope that we open... This is only pack two? Our deck's looking gassy. Like some hot farts. Uh, whatever. Wall of Omens is probably not going to make the cut, because it doesn't... Actually, Birthing Pod... We could play a Birthing Pod. Oh, the Mother of Runes came back! Gas. Boros Reckoner came back. Wow, that, that was a late mother. She should tell her children not to walk this way. 
Oh, mother. Burder, der, burder, der. Mother. Do you leave him in the dark tonight? This is, uh, what is this, Glenn Danzig? Boom, 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 boom. That is a late verdant catacombs. A late verdant kitty catacombs. <laughs> I think we just take this honor of the pure. We can also take... Stop putting this over there. That is no way, shape, or form a six drop. I think it's actually honor of the pure in this deck. We have Spectral Procession, Sun Titan, Monastery Mentor, Gideon. Yeah, this is definitely an honor of the pure deck. But will the honor come back and we can take the Worm Coil? Hmm. Hmm. God, it's so risky. It's so good for our deck. I'm gonna take it because I don't think anyone cares about Honor of the Pier. I'm gonna I think it's gonna come back one hundred percent. Adanto Vanguard's great. I think we want it more than a third five drop. Uh and I don't care about Avison that much. I think Adanto Vanguard is super hard to deal with, especially with a sword on it. Uh you know what else is really <laughs> Oh god. You either die the hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. See, see, spear being a three drop is huge, though, because it puts us off a lot of our things. You could just play it on turn four after you play a Spectral, which is totally fine, but again, that's probably going to come back. Um, God. I think it's I think it's better than Sublime Archangel. <gasps> Ooh. That's exactly what we want to see. A third sword is good. Mirror Crusader, also very, very good. Our value off of the um, Stoneforge is real high right now, though. Yeah, we'll take this over Mirror Crusade. Yikes. I'm pretty sure it's Jitte. We have a ton of different Hero of Blade Hold effects. Like, we have Cloud Guard Ranger to make guys, Angel to make guys, Gideon to make guys, Spectral to make guys, Monastery Mentor to make guys. We're just not passing a Jitte when we have Stone Forge in our... You fights with monsters should be careful lest you thereby become a monster. I literally checked and I'm like, is that the Ravages of War flavor text? Because god damn, that is fitting. I mean, it's gotta be this. We just talked about how that's a... Oh my god, dude, these picks are unreal. Well, we're clearly in the, in the, in the white colors. <laughs> I thought the deck was white! If you guys don't get that joke, look up Roseanne. Uh... Was look up Roseanne was white and uh, I'm pretty sure you'll you'll find it. I don't think it's secure. I think I'd rather just have a Lyra. I'd actually play Lyra over Angel Invention 100%. So hey guys, just in case, just in case we didn't get enough, I'll take Walking Ballista. Honor the pure. Come on back. Don't do me like that. Why does this flicker was supposed to a gray text box and a gray type box? Like, look how white this one is, and look how gray this one is. That's weird, right? Look, same set. Why do they program a commander flicker wisp on here? That's weird. I guess because they, they were sold on here. Whatever. Frank, I'm homesick and I need you to sing to me so I feel better. I'm working on it. Yep, Honor the Pure came back. Our deck is insane. We can cut one sword and probably Silverblade Paladin because we're not going... It 
And Spear came back as well. You know, like you do. Probably cutting Feast and Famine. I like it the least out of all these, th out of the three good swords I have here. Sure, Condemn is fine. Nice to have. We need only two cuts? That's actually, ugh, land tax comes back. Our deck looks insane. Do we not play Ravages of War? Either, I mean, either, either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain, you know? We need two cuts. It could be one of our cuts. Journey to Nowhere probably gets cut, actually. That's a pretty easy cut. Is this the Roseanne clip? Because it's real. Oh, God, it is. <laughs> oh, God. Wee-woo, wee-woo. <laughs> Oh, look at all these equipment, too. We got Sword, Sword, Batter Skull, Jitte. We need to cut one more card. Is it the Ravages of War? I want to put it over here. I feel like we've earned the ability to play this, right? Like, we've earned it. We also have Mana Tithe. We can Mana Tithe their turn five, their turn four play, and then untap Ravages with, like, Planeswalker Guy. We do have to make one cut, though, if we do that. It might be Sun Titan. No, Sun Titan gets back lands. I don't really want to cut a sword, though. Both these swords are very good. I guess we could cut. I guess we could cut one of the swords. Probably the Sword of Fire and Ice. Cut Splicer. I could see that. Splicer is kind of mediocre. We have ten creatures. Which is not a ton, but Gideon is also a creature. This Gideon is a creature. This Spectral is a creature. I can see cutting Mana Tide for Blade Splicer. We want to make sure we have enough guys to uh, to do things with. We could also play Flicker Wisp because it's a flyer. It's it's good at blinking Cloud Gut Ranger or Batter Skull or Sun Titan or uh, Stone Forge. Yeah, that Roseanne clip is unbelievable, man. Oh, Batter Skull is a creature. That's true. Not a creedy, but a creature. You got it. Crutch Jr., happy Monday, buddy. All right, so Mana Tithe is kind of on my fence here. I like Blade Splicer and I like Flicker Wisp here. I could see us cutting a sword. Like, three equipment's a lot. I'll keep the Blade Splicer in. And we got a Wind Brisk Heights. Hmm, 16? Deal. Okay. Alright, we're gonna play it like this. We'll see what we need. Want an Angel of Invention? I don't think it's good. It's a 2-1 that makes 2-1-1s. One -ones. It's very easy to kill on its own. Um, and then you just get left with 2-1-1s one -ones for 5 mana. And if you make... And, and as a 4-3 for 5, it's also not that good. I think it was... I think it was a re... It, like, it wasn't even played in Standard, really. Like, it was played in the God Pharaoh's Gift deck for obvious reasons, but... I just don't think it, the value is there. A 4-3 for 5 when we have a Lyra is just way better. Oh, uh, but the problem is you don't need to draw engine if you're just winning the game with Sword of Body and Mind, right? Like, if we drew a Sword of Fire and Ice instead of... of uh, if, we drew, if we drew Body and Mind instead of Fire and Ice, then we're just winning the game. If we're able to connect with either sword, the sword is only a draw engine if you connect with it, right? And if we're connecting with this instead, it's just, we're just winning the game. The Anthem is good, but like, it's on a 2-1 body, which is real bad. Mother of Runes. Okay, Planes is also good. I thought the deck was white. Alright, this is a lot of things. And we have nothing to play, really. We haven't drawn a single one or two drop. 
I meant to mention this last time I was watching you, but I appreciate how thorough you are with plays, deck building outs, everything. I feel like that's awesome. That's all I could ask for. Also, I like being entertaining, so. I mean, I feel like I prioritize entertainment on my stream, but on the same hand, like, if you're able to get value out of it, that's okay. Well. Come on in. Dead. Bone Shredder. Mirror and Crusader. Hmm. Get on top. They missed the land drop, right? Ooh, that's nice. Front all damage this dude would deal. Bird -er -dirt -er -dirt -er -dirt -er -dirt. Get him. Yep, that's a seven seven. And they just jump block here. Yeah, I feel like we're just dead here. Like, this game does not favor us. Bitter Blossom is a hell of a drug. That is correct. This does not seem like the Ravages of War matchup. I agree with you. Trade with Mirror Crusader? No, oh, just eat a guy. So they can literally just attack with Bitter Blossom token. This card has been overperforming every time I see it. It makes your smallest guy into your biggest guy. Without actually uh, exposing her to anything. We're definitely bringing in Journey here because their deck is pretty aggressive. Take out Ravages, bring in Journey. Look at this. This is just un this is unreal. Yep, I'm just going to take seven here, because... My god. Yep. Alright. So our deck seems great, except for when they just play infinite flyers that pump each other. Jitte seems amazing. Uh, so Journey comes in, Ravages comes out. Walking Blist also seems good, but... Actually, Walking Blist seems great here. Take out a Cloud Goat Ranger. <clears throat> I like Sword of Fire and Ice here because it does help us on board. It helps us kill things like... Uh, well, they're creatures, I guess. Pro Black Sword actually is probably better. Mm, a lot of things to consider here. Yeah, we can submit like this. I think this is fine. I will keep this hand. We'll play Mother on one, and then we'll mana tithe their Bitter Blossom. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, we're never untap. We're never tapping. We're never attacking with mother here. So, dang it! I guess we can wait a turn. I don't really feel like Gideon is great here when when they didn't have a turn two play. Yeah, got him. <laughs> A 
Let's just make an emblem here. Demon. Why, I do declare. Uh, no. No, I will not sacrifice. Yeah, it's probably good. Yeah, this game seems to be going completely different. Um, let's make Gideon a boy, a big boy. Actually, Gideon's been like 4-4s, four 5-5s, fours, five and 6-6s six throughout history, so... It's kind of funny. Gideon's different various states of uh, aggression. Oh, white mana, huh? I see. Here we go. Yeah, I actually had a feeling they were going to play the Soren, and I was like, that guy's not very good at all. That seems pretty good. I guess we can just try to kill Soren. They either block with their attacker or they lose their Soren. Batter Skull. How big is Gideon Champion of Justice? I don't know how big that guy is, actually. You can tell Gideon lifts. He just lifts different weights at different points of his life. He's just in different... He's just in different states of swollenness. So he just got to kill this Soren, and all you got out of it was a 2-2? Two -two? That's fascinating. Fascinating. Okay, that's pretty good. Well. Must be nice. They got, oh, they got hip, oh, because we actually, uh, wait, where did the, oh, because the demon, I was like, I thought they were going to get demon back. Yeah, that's fine. Champion of Justice equal to loyalty counters? What a weird... What a weirdo. Oh, they didn't come out my Gideon. Fascinating. Oh, that's interesting. Let's forge some stones. God, how does Jitte not just utterly destroy their board? Yeah, despite the fact that they have black guys on board, I think it's just Jitte. We're actually going to path this guy. You're probably not going to pay for this guy. I guess we should have done that after, because now they just get the block, but it doesn't really hurt anything. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's fine, too. Yeah, all right. You have multiple options to block then. Oh, they're paying for it. I wonder if they're going to come kill Gideon and then we get to path one of them. Followed by a Umazawa's Jitte. Oh, no attacks whatsoever. Fascinating. We actually should just play Jitte. I wanted to be able to, like, put it into play for free with this, but that doesn't do anything. So pro black is good. I think we can just path this though. Are, are we still doing phrasing? What does that mean? What are you saying right now?
No blocks. That's fascinating. Huh. Shouldered? Not shouldered, uh, well, maybe maybe shouldered, but a Leshnorn? Okay, Bitter Blossom. Hero of Bladehold. Sure. I don't know why we did this EOT. It doesn't really matter. Okay, we have yet to tap this Mother of Runes, but it's still doing work. Yep. I don't think we even play Worm Coil. We just don't want to show them Worm Coil Engine. I think Lyra is probably fine. Unfortunately, Isamaru is less than ideal. And you're also just dead to Lyra equip. What's your game? You know what? Sure. It's a two for one at the worst. At the best, they don't have anything else to actually target her with. They can't target her anyway. Okay, they just concede. That was pretty desperate. They have a lot of condemnable creatures in their deck. I'm tempted to just bring in the condemn as well. Walking Blista for six is pretty backbreaking, it seems like. Yeah, Flicker Wisp seems rough when they have Bitter Blossom. Yeah, I think Journey, Sword, Path, and Jitte are plenty of removal. Also, uh, eh, this hand seems fine. I like the Oblivion Ring. We're going to top deck a Wind Brisk Heights. You ready? It was not. I lied to you. William, take it easy, buddy. Manatide. God, every time it's a a weaker card than I expected. Do we have any way to deal with Bitter Blossom? Maybe. Who knows? One. A to who? I'm tempted to actually just overing this guy because they've invested a lot of mana into this. Specifically six mana. But then they just untap and play like Hero of Blade Hold. Okay, that's better. Send him on a little journey. I'll see you later, little journey boy.
A Kithian. A turn four Kithian does not seem ideal. Oh, now you're missing black mana. Just gotta play one color and then you'll be fine. Uh oh. Why did I forget about that? I didn't even realize the mana. That's actually fine. We'll just get back with Sun Titan. That was so dumb. I forgot about the indestructible part. Yep, that guy's going away. But now we have something to get back with Sun Titan, so whatever. I totally forgot it could make itself indestructible. We could have paid four life, but then we go to six, and that's worse than we have Sun Titan anyway, so... Oof. See, if you only play one color, you don't have to worry about it. Oh, wow. Timely Swamp into Bitter Blossom. Can I have a non-land? That's a non-land, all right. <clears throat> There's no value in even really attacking. They just If we attack with both, they block here. I guess that's actually just fine. If they block there, we take seven, though. That's pretty good. Yeah, I don't care about this guy dying. I'll just trade with Kithian and we can get it back next turn. Okay, that's actually pretty good because now we get to keep our Lyra. Do we want to keep this guy around too, though? Probably. They get one, two, three. Yeah, this is fine because we got Lyra on board. And they're going to use their black. Unless they top like like black and still have go for the throat in hand. Like us. If we can untap with Mother of Runes Lyra, I think it's pretty good. Come on one time. Oh, Ravages. They go Slaughter Pack. We're like, oh, Ravages. Lyra's dead. Oh my god, Lyra lives. Oh boy. I kind of just want to kill this, get this guy out of the way. Uh, that feels important. Because let's talk about indestructible and how obnoxious that is. Okay, I think we I think we got the pressure on. Yep, that is a fine block. Go to 10. This tells me that they didn't have one removal spell that cost one black in their hand. Or else they would have cast it. So any black removal spell that costs two, Lyra should be... That is unfortunate. My god, these hits. The hits are real. <laughs> you son of a biscuit. Oh boy. Well, now we have to actually put Lyra at, or uh, Mother of Runes at risk. 
Well, it is what it is. <laughs> Man. Aleshnorn one time. Yep, that's a good dude. Classic two turn clock. Nope. Sure. <laughs> Actual nothing. Yep, pretty sure that's the end. We put a Jitte underneath, which is kind of funny because if we just top deck a. Um, Stoneforge Mystic. So if we attack for four here, they go to they go to eight, then they go to seven. I'm gonna attack. We can't block anything, so I actually have no incentive not to attack. Pro black. We take six, seven, eight. I don't think we're winning this game. Which is surprising because they were way, way far behind and then they had these two cards to catch up. Sure. Uh, sword does not do it when they have it. Uh, if we brought the black sword in, actually it does. That would be sick. No, we have we have the we have sort of feast and famine, so it still does. Oh my god, sort of feast and famine off the top or stone for Yep, now it doesn't. And they literally have the one extra mana for the mana tithe. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's a land anyway. <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright. Well, six, seven, eight, nine, nine lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I mean, what can you do? Not our day. Today has not been our day, guys. I guess this is fine. We'll keep you. The Gotham's can still be real. Another white deck, huh? Okay, well, this is working out well. Wow. Mono white again. Okay, well... Heavy white, I guess we should say. I would have played this, but I think we're just going to play this and plus it on the golem.
You got it. Yep. We could also get rid of this, but I don't think that's threatening enough. I think the white spirits go block, block, block. The white spirits go block, 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 block. Don't tap that extra mana. Now, doot, 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 doot. That's a song I read about the blocks. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Huh. Hmm. Huh. If you believe in it enough, it'll deal damage. Yeah, maybe that's true. Huh. All through the town. Let's get rid of you. And I'll get rid of you as well, actually. If you believe in magic and kitchen finks that talk, Mother of Runes is a pretty good card. I'm going to print prevent from you Oblivion Ring this Umazawa's Jitte because it doesn't deserve to exist. I think it was the history of Benali when it came over there. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> wow, that was how Jitte would have been fantastic. I, I couldn't have played this mother of runes. My god. Uh, Gideon will take Dose. I will not trade my Mother of Runes. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oh my god, if they have Mana Tithe. Oh my god. Oh, thank god. I would have cried, dude. The tears would have flowed. I would have I would have let loose a torrential waterfall of emotion and sadness. It's really weird the cards that just friggin' blink over. I don't understand why it does that, but Faith's fetters. Yeah, all right, you got it. Chicken McNuggets, you can take for a walk. The problem is, I don't feel like we're in any position to start dealing damage here. They have three cards. We have one card. Our card is not very impressive. We do have a Mother of Runes, though. Yeah, I've seen Emrakul, Thought Not Seer, Ulamog, History of Benalia. There's a bunch of different cards I've seen. <whistles> Tempted to just get in there for five, but... I guess we should. There are 28. Hmm. 
They're like, pass it. I'm like, all right, well, I'll, I'll protect it because you have one card, two card, one card after that. So basically we can block here or block here. Probably block here. I don't care about the 1-1. One, one. Blocking here forces us to use Mother of Runes. Did I s oh, pay costs. Here we go. Settle the wreckage. Sure. Did they think we were attacking with these guys? Because that would be amazing. If they thought they were four for one us. I will trade a Cloud Guard Ranger for a Plains. That's fine. I hate playing against cards in my deck. I, that has I, like that doesn't bother me in the least. Like I just don't care about that. Uh oh. Here we go. Destroy all the lands. Unexpectedly absent on the Oblivion Ring. Oh Christ! That's your last card, huh? Seems good. I mean, whoever they put it on, we actually just Mother of Runes and prevent all damage. Yeah, actually, that's not terrible, but. It's still obnoxious. Like, we have to keep up Mother of Runes at all times now. I hope they don't know how this works, because that would be great for us. No. These cards are good, but they're not really advancing anything. Boop. That's a good that's a good draw. That's a solid draw. I guess we'll start attacking next turn. The problem is once they get any counters on pre saint captain, it's bad news bears. Like it only works once, right? Like we block and then give it protection. So they can't get counters, and then they just put on something else next turn. Nothing else they have nothing else has first strike though. And we have a swords. Alright, we're gonna start getting aggressive here, I guess. The first strike is extremely relevant. Do you block with your precious captain? They have no cards in hand? Oh, this is actually just fine. God, it was always Jitte. It's not a real magic card. This is far more tedious than I expected it to be when we have this, like, aggressive white deck. <laughs> hey, look what came back. All right. Seems good. Oh, that'll do it. All right. Yeesh. I really don't like the Ravages of War. Again, this doesn't seem like a Ravages of War deck that we want to be dealing with. Do we have any way to get rid of a stupid... 
Oh man, way to get rid of a Jitte would be just fantastic. Hmm. Take out the mana tithe here. Bye, have a good night, buddy. <laughs> I could see Condemn just because it actually doesn't take... Uh... I like Spear of Heliod, and I probably like Condemn. I actually want Walking Ballista. Walking Bliss is just kind of expensive. One, two, three, nothing, huh? Okay. Well, that's not a two drop at all. Any any flash creatures? I don't think so. Yep, and the answer was nay. <laughs> same. Same, same. Guess now we get to see who has the honor of the pier. Slash Gideon uh, ally of Zendikar. Linvala. Okay. Well, that's good against uh, Mother of Runes, unfortunately. I think that's probably it, though. I can't imagine that has any other uses. Interesting. I'm going to take three here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, it lets us not put the equipment into play from our hand, but that's not super relevant. Despite having three lands in hand, I kind of want to just path this. Make one of these... Uh Getting in there for three. <sighs> That's the truth, does it like nobody does? This is how we do it. Man, just with a life gain, man. No, they didn't do anything. Now this guy's never allowed at the party again. Pew! City's Blessing, which is actually just a weird Planeswalker card that zooms out to the City's Blessing. Well, we're not attacking with this guy, unfortunately. Gogarby's giving another bomb that plays well with Greer. Look up Bonehouse Troll. <laughs> That's a pretty funny name. Bonehouse is ready. Oh, yeah. This is why we keep this Oblivion Ring. All right. Three mana, four, four for four. Or for three. Three mana, four, four for three. I guess that's covered in the three mana part. Uh, trample at the beginning of your upkeep. Exile a creature card in your graveyard. If you do, put a 1-1 one, one counter. Otherwise, sacrifice. Oh, that's not... Eh... I don't think this is a bomb. Like, you have to literally have creatures in your graveyard, otherwise he, di otherwise he dies. That thing's hard to upkeep. Oh, I guess we have multiple ways to deal with this. 
And we have we just give them six more life. Stink City. Yeah, we gotta save the Oblivion Ring for the Jitte, unfortunately. I mean the trample is super nice and the three mana for a four four, but like the cost is the cost is counteracted by the fact that it has to have creatures in the graveyard or else it dies literally after its first upkeep. I would still actually attack Gideon, like just to get it off the board. Oh, the Bonehouse chocolate chip cookies are the best, man. The best part of waking up is bone house in your cup. Oh, that's also a good card. They just have mono good cards and we're just drawing. Honor of the pure. Hey, that's pretty good. What is this game? Lifelink and Vigilance? That's fine. I'll just block with like a million dudes. The best part of waking. What's a Trotta? Oh god, that weird card? Oh no, we're not doing that. They do have mono good cards, but no honor. Where is your honor? The best part of waking up. But Commander, is it a legend? I guess it has to be because it's a, it's called the Trotta. Which sounds like errata. A vampire assassin. Isn't that implied? Aren't all vampires assassin assassinly? Okay, so we can block here with two of these jobbies. Block. So what happens here? They make it a... F they can make it a 1-5? Eh, I'll just block with three. They can't kill three unless they kill the Honor of the Peer. I don't think they have an instant speed removal for that Honor of the Peer. Sure. Get that lifelink. Get that 4-1. Oh, 2-4. Going backwards, I see. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. <laughs> not the vampire from pre yeah Cassidy was not uh... alright let's see what happens now did we just go back up to 3-3 three, three now 1-5 okay I'm very confused okay that seemed like a lot of work to gain one life Don't be a land. That's pretty good, but we have no cards in the graveyard. I guess if they actually killed this, it would have been great. Hmm, okay. Mothers don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. I could, I'm tempted to Oblivion Ring. They don't actually have the other thing anymore. We can Oblivion Ring and get back Gideon and make this guy unthingable. And then if they end up killing Gideon, then we can get it back with Sun Titan. But boy, if they have Umazawa's Jitte at any point... I'm not going to get gotten with a f with a friggin mana tithe here, so. All right, I don't like I never like playing Sun Tight with no value. I think the best part is the value. I want to find a way to get that value, but Okay, that's fine. Zet is fine. You may have your guy. So you go lifelink 
plus plus, which is like three mana, so you gain a life. Oh, last card's coming down. All right, we are cardless. Stoneforge Mystic off the tippity top. One, wait, really? Actually, let me just take this. They just make it a 4-2, right? And then they trade with both tokens, and then we're just like pretty far behind, maybe? I actually figured they'd block this, but... Yeah, I kind of just want this off the board, to be honest. We can Oblivion during the Fairgrounds Ward and get back a guy. They just give lifelink and 4-2. That seems fine. Yep. Like, we traded a Brightling and an Unexpectedly Absent for a Spectral Procession. Oh, boy. Boy, oh boy. They didn't give lifelink? What did they do? They just kept the mana up? With no cards in hand? Oh, this is all working out fantastically right now. In before top deck Jitte. Mamas don't let your babies top deck their Jittes. Oh, we just won the game. All right. I'm a fan. All right. Round three. You know what? I'm going to keep this. Any land, and this hand is golden, and we got that Mother of Runes. We got that Mother of Runes money. I mean, we had Sun Titan on board. I don't know. Mothers, don't let your babies grow up to be sun titans. Actually, you know what? Let them. Let them be that. Oh. <laughs> Hooray! Big fan? Huge fan. We're dead. And we died. Come on, planes, 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 and we have missed two land drops. Cool. Good luck. Have fun. I am having neither luck nor fun at this moment, so it is an unfortunate circumstance. Yep. Three white decks in a row. Let's get Kiki Jiki or Restoration. No, I can't get Resto. Rabble Master. And that's the end. Three land drops is all I'm willing to miss. Switch out the sword. Bring in a journey because they seem like they have some creatures. I don't care about Ravage. I haven't cared about Ravages or in any of these matchups. Uh, Walking Ballista actually seems good here.
Yeah, we'll keep this. Had two lands. Yeah. Probably need it. This guy. This guy should be hard to deal with, right? Land. Oh, man, we're so good at this game. Man, the highest highs and lowest lows in Magic, man. I didn't get to play anything. I got, I got to play all my regular spells at the time I wanted to play them. Um, they just sword here. Sorting this guy up seems pretty good. You can also just blade splicer. What are they gonna do? If they just go rabble master, it's we're just gonna sword here. I just want to have the sword down. If they spend a turn killing this guy, that's totally fine, because then they still won't have anything on the board. All right. Well, these have been two fun games. <laughs> Magic the Gathering. Are we on the draw? I feel like Manatai is better on the draw. I don't know if I like getting into the trials in here. I'm going to take that dude out. I wonder if land tax is the key that we've been missing this entire this entire draft. We just play I don't think this hand can lose. Oh my god. I think we just win. I think we just win with this hand. It's unbelievable. Turn two stone forge. Turn three mentor into just cast whatever we whatever we hit. We can cast Jite and sneak something into play for four mana so we get a trigger. Mothers, don't let your jitties become cowboys. I don't know how this. I you know what? Just we'll just end it now. Oh, I love it. Just put it on the, put it in the gra put it in the graveyard. Put it in the trash can. Put her in the garbage can. I'm gonna play a stone for. I've been got. Got him. Oh. Oh, that's a dude. Do we go for Batter Skull or do we go for the red, pro, red, pro Red Sword here? I think it's Pro Red Sword here. I feel like we need to have a code word or secret questions only you know the answer to for if you ever have an evil doppelganger and you're fighting each other and I have a gun to try to save you but I can't tell which of you is the real. Uh, That's actually a good... Uh, that's a good plan, I think. Um... Oh, God, that's a really good plan. I think we should think of something, though. What if I say, like, the avocados are made of gingerbread? Is that a good... Is that a good code word? Oh, I guess they could just have, like, one mana shivan burst thing. That's pretty bad. There's no really way around it. We don't have a cheap enough spell to, like, play this guy and then play something else as well. So we kind of just have to throw this guy out there, see what happens. I forgot what the avocado thing was already, so that's probably not a good one. Let's not go with that one. What's a bober? What are bobers? Bobers, my good friend, are sober scrobers.
Oh my god, look at this. Yeah, like the sword is going like this way. This is going like this way. This is going like this way. That's a good hit. Joke's on you. Oh, they don't have it. We get them counters, boys. If we hit a land, we can also just go Sword of Fire and Ice. Then we have a Stone Forge with a Sword of Fire and Ice and a Jitte on it. Also, this is now a 5-6 at the largest because of the Jitte. And that'll do it. These are rough games. We did it, boys. Thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. 2-1 is just fine for me. Uh, if you guys have not done so, check out my Patreon page and my Twitch profile. You can find the links in the description below. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And if you enjoy the content, be sure to hit the bell. Uh, I have videos go up at 9 p.m. and 11 a.m. Eastern Time every day on YouTube. So uh, be sure to check those out if you guys ever have some downtime and you want to watch some back drafts. Really appreciate that. Either way, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.